If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, the chain family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video, guys. We got some explosive news out of V chain i'm so excited i got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded ready to go let's get this show started guys v chain proof of authority 2.0 has been progressing it looks like we got some more news on proof of authority 2.0 and why it is important now v chain foundation posts we are excited to announce v chain thor 1.6.0 is live this is awesome meaning phase one of proof of authority 2.0 is set in motion uh it looks like it will be on the test net on November the 5th at 8 a.m. And then finally integrated into the main net on November the 16th at 8 a.m. So this is pretty cool, guys. This first phase introduces uh, the Byzantine fault tolerance and the Nakamoto consensus mechanism. And pretty much that's all bumbo jumbo. That means that uh, it'll be harder for hackers to get into the VeChain network because uh, it'll be impossible to predict the next block leader, thus making it pretty much impossible to you know manipulate that or to validate a transaction that is currently unvalid. Why is this important? If you validate transactions that are unvalid, or if somebody was able to you know figure out who the next slot leader is going to be. They can manipulate that and cause uh, forks in the network that can be very, very damaging for the uh, for the for the network. Uh, pretty much, it says here, up, POA 2.0 upgrades the randomness and processes that selects the block producer. Blockchain manipulation becomes impossible. It introduces the community feature. Three additional BPs are randomly selected to verify a block further preventing any kind of manipulation finality now this is coming later in the main net this this current update that's going to happen on the 5th of november does not introduce finality but this is going to be one of the most important things when it comes on to the main net finality will guarantee that data is finalized immediately and ensures no accidental forks of the network can occur Sometimes branching can lead to a temporary disruption of a blockchain with very small data potentially being lost. Now, why is this important for VeChain, guys? Obviously, we're working with Fortune 500 companies here. We're working with large corporations and we're working with governments. So we can't afford to have our, our blockchain shut down. We can't afford to have a fork. We can't afford to have an emergency measure that takes down the transfer of data okay with interest in blockchain exploding alongside interest in v chains products and services we hear one common theme enterprises and governments demand speed scalability and security of both the network and data without compromise all right guys so this is pretty cool they go on to say with our focus on sustainable development goals carbon emissions reductions and other initiatives it's imperative that VeChain Thor provides a scalable and secure environment. With POA 2.0 for the first time, public blockchain can offer all these things without compromise. As we look ahead to the near future and the imminent age of blockchain mass adoption, VeChain is credibly proud to be the first public blockchain to answer the call of international organizations and offer, offer blockchain toolkit for the real world demands let's go guys this is what we're talking about this is what we've been waiting for here guys and uh this is very exciting i know that you know this probably won't pump the price or anything like that but again we're, we're in this for the long haul i say it every day and i hope you guys get it that this channel is not for speculators this channel is not for day traders i mean I do horrible technical analysis. So <laughs> if you're following technical analysis by the price updates that I do on this channel, probably not the channel for you. There's plenty of other channels out there. This channel is for long-term hodling, okay? So we're excited. Proof Authority 2.0 Phase 1 coming November the 5th. Mainnet integration on November the 16th.
Moving on. All right, guys, we got our boy Sonny Lou here presenting in San Marino. We got Viche and DV San Marino. Thank you to Eisenreich. Go ahead and give this man a follow. This man here. Wow. Doing great work. Doing the Lord's work. According to the CEO of VeChain official Sonny Lou, next goal in the Republic is to use blockchain and other exponential technologies to support the transition from a linear economy to a circular economy. What does that mean? Basically, a circular economy is what I explained a couple of videos ago about the Internet of Things economy, guys. Everything is connected. That's what v that's what Sonny Lou has said. All right, guys. Connection. Data. Data is the new oil. Everything being connected, all data being shared instantaneously, data being able to be collected and verified instantaneously. All right, guys, we're already moving towards that. Um, I showed a video a couple weeks, like a week ago, about I think it was somewhere in England where 88 banks shut down, shut their branches down because we are in a digital era. Freaking Facebook. I like Facebook, but I know a lot of you guys don't like Facebook. They they do some dirty stuff. They they sell your uh, data. They do really really invasively targeted ads. They're not a good comp. They're not a, a a virtuous company by any stretch of the imagination. But they're changing their name to Meta. Why the metaverse? The digital world. Okay, the digital world is real. All right, <laughs> our online avatars actually exist. So this is what the circular economy is, guys, and this is why I'm so bullish on crypto. Not just VeChain, not just Cardano, not just Bitcoin, not just Ethereum, not just XRP, but all crypto. This is the new world order that people have been talking about. So let's take a look at this video here. It's a short video. Sunny Lou is listed at uh, 49, but I think it's uh, good for us to watch the whole thing. Hopefully you can hear it. L'elezione presa in tempo di pandemia e quanto sia decisiva la tecnologia anche I'm going to have to probably turn it up. Senso, la partnership fra Vicene e DNV presenta oggi anche il direttore Global Growth and Innovation di quest'ultima Renato Grottola. Collaborazione ha ricordato il segretario Righi che ha portato alla realizzazione del Green Pass sammarinese che grazie ad una soluzione innovativa basata sulla blockchain garantisce autenticità, tutela della privacy e rispetto dei requisiti UE. Decisivo il ruolo di San Marino Innovation realtà presso la quale è insediata Vicene. Ottima opportunità per lo Stato riuscire a sviluppare un, un, un prodotto che poi di fatto è stato realizzato in brevissimo tempo, costi praticamente nulli e per Vicene avrà un modo di sviluppare il proprio business sfruttando il nostro ecosistema. La digitalizzazione, ha dichiarato Fabio Righi, farà la differenza. Il prossimo obiettivo in Repubblica, ha spiegato il CEO di Vicene, Sunny Lu, è utilizzare la blockchain e altre tecnologie esponenziali per sostenere la CEO. di un'economia lineare. That's my quarterback. Credo che San Marino sia molto innovativa e soprattutto sia molto desiderosa di farsi coinvolgere in le tecnologie innovative, abbracciare le tecnologie più elevate al mondo, come per esempio la blockchain, e posizionarsi in questo modo a livelli veramente alti sulla sfera mondiale, come per esempio abbiamo fatto nell'occasione dell'adozione del Green Pass. Una leva fondamentale per il rilancio economico. Poi si è definito la blockchain la reggenza, che ha poi sottolineato come lo sviluppo tecnologico offra nuove risorse per sostenere stili di vita più rispettosi dell'ambiente. Ricordate allora l'appuntamento della COP26, l'obiettivo per il titano, il mercato i capi di Stato, è di venire un laboratorio di innovazione per un rinnovato equilibrio tra natura e uomo. Excellent. Now, hopefully, we get the translated version, but basically, he was saying this here. <laughs> Next goal in a republic is to use blockchain and other exponential technologies to support the circular economy. Now, we know that they signed a memorandum of understanding with VeChain a couple years ago to produce this circular economy, to get them on this green smart city. All right, guys, it's kind of like the carbon credit ecosystem that we've been talking about ad nauseum. All right, this is going through. People forgot about that. When people FUD and say, oh, VeChain's the S-Coin, it's not going nowhere, VeChain's crap, and all that, they forget about this stuff. All right, but I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten one bit, and the hodlers out there haven't forgotten. You know what I like about Sonny Lou? And I know it's going to piss some people off. 
I know this is gonna piss some people off. He doesn't give a crap about the price of E Trade. <gasps> I said the bad word that hurt your feelings. He doesn't care about the price of E-Chain and that's why I like him. That's why I like Charles Hoskinson. They don't give a crap about the price of their coin. Why is that important? Because they're doing their real jobs. The job of a CEO is marketing. The job of a CEO is to get deals and to get good business. And that's what V-Chain, that's what Sonny Lou, that's what Charles Hoskinson is doing. They don't care about the speculators. They don't care about none of that garbage, that hype, that stuff that they can't control. What can be, what can Sonny Lou control? He can control this business deal. What can Sonny Lou control? He can control what he's doing with China. What can Sonny Lou control? He can control his software as a service and product as a service platform. All right. I know you don't want to hear it, but this show ain't for what you want to hear. Okay, this show is for what you gotta hear. Shout out to Sunny Lou. Keep on working. Keep doing that wood chop mentality that we got here, and we moving on, guys. It's gonna be a short video. I'm fired up, but um, duty does call. <laughs> v hashes, guys. V hashes. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Um, there you could still claim you could still buy some V hashes. All right, guys. So, um, there's about 200, 2,318 cards left. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, they are still available. If you're claiming with a ledger, claim max 20 at a time. The website here is V E H. A S H E S dot club and each V hash is about 2300 V chain a piece so you can still claim some if you guys want you got to just sync up your your uh, sync wallet and you can mint some V hashes this is going on until I believe until the marketplace comes out and then they will be available of uh, in the marketplace so uh, again vhashes.club and uh, you could you could claim some vhashes again 2300 v chain a piece I'm gonna be doing a full breakdown of vhashes at a later date here I've just been uh, busy and uh, the calendar's been backed up so if you guys want there you go Cool. So mint day is today for V Ghosts as well, guys. So I'm just trying to get all this NFT news. There's so much, <laughs> so many drops that it's very, very hard to keep track of all of them. But we got V Ghosts. We've done a breakdown of V Ghosts. Go ahead and check that video out if you guys are interested. Mint day is today at 6 p.m. UTC. All right, guys. So uh, if you're on the white list, you already know about that. Um, and in order to get on the white list. I believe you have to have a World of V token and be on the Discord here. So hit me up on the Discord, guys. Satoshi Boomin. Um, I, I talk back. You know, you guys could always message me. Like, so you would go to World of V here. They got V hashes. They got all kinds of stuff. V kings as well. This this Discord be jumping, jumping out the gym, guys. So. Uh, come on down to the Discord. I'd love to hear to talk to you guys. It'll be lit. All right. So today is the public sale. So if you want to get on some of these cute Vigos, hop on board. And then finally, guys. So we talked a little bit about um, V Chain's partnership yesterday with Rui Shipai. Uh, this is V Chain and Recipe. Okay, so this is pretty cool. V Recipe teamed up with V Chain to enhance its competitiveness even further, providing transparency and oversight about the qualities and nutritional facts of its product. So this is a rising star in the Chinese market. So light food brand recipe rising star in the chinese market demand for high quality fresh foods has dramatically increased amongst china's middle class as health and fitness increasingly takes center stage as a center stage as a focus in society along with greenness sustainability 
zero carbon, carbon neutrality. A lot of these things are taking over the world and it's good to see VeChain land a partnership like this. 878 days to the next Bitcoin block having guys. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. Let's take a look at the markets here. I was doing a little bit of uh, scouting for the next uh, Shiba Inu token. <laughs> but Ethereum, Ethereum is literally jumping out the gym, guys. Ethereum is going crazy. Binance Coin going crazy right now, above $500. Haven't seen that in a while. Um, Shiba Inu is up about 5%. Congratulations to the person that bought $8,000 worth of Shiba Inu in 2020 and turned it into $5 billion. Excuse me while I go jump off a bridge. Anyways, uh, <laughs> B-Chain is up 1.9%. Axie Infinity up 13%. Guys, the bull run is currently going on. It's currently occurring. Decentralized, Decentraland is pumping 50%. Safe Moon pumping 45%. All the meme coins are going crazy, which means V-Chain is going to pump soon, guys. I feel it in my bones. I'm feeling bullish. We're we'll continuing with a stack of chill. Don't let your means be dreams. I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Love you guys so much. Hit that like button. Talk to you later.